Good morning, everybody. I'd like to discuss with you today uh, Microsoft Excel and the interface with BIM 360 and Microsoft Office Online. And uh, it is an amazing platform because it allows you to do work on Excel spreadsheets from wherever you are, as long as you can access your Excel uh, online. So what you can see on the right hand side here is that in my OneDrive on my computer, on my hard drive, I've got here a standards file. And not thinking that I should probably work on the internet from the start, I initiate this file. And what you can see over here is that there's a lot of formatting that's gone into here, links, and crucially, a lot of worksheets which if I right click over here, you can see I can navigate to those worksheets very easily. This is important for the future. So initially I thought, well, this is going to be easy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload this file onto the internet. And then I ran into some problems because there were lots of formatting and some um, functionality on the desktop side that isn't available on uh, online. And so what you can see over here in my BIM 360 folder is that I then recreated the standards file, but I recreated it on the internet, through the internet. So using Chrome and Office Online, I then recreated that. So having a look at that platform here, you can see it in BIM 360 and there is my Excel standards file. You do have an option to edit this in the desktop. So, but to upload it, it will reject it initially. All right. So the way that I was thinking about it is great. This is fantastic because it's now available anywhere. And if I want to edit that online, it's as easy as clicking on the file. It opens it up for view. Clearly the permissions have to be set correctly and what have you. And then what we can do is edit this in browser. There it opens it up in a browser. And this is now a file that I can work with. Right? And that's easy enough. Uh, this is not actually the file that I want to work with. Excuse me. There's the standards file that I want to work with. And the reason for that is that I've got multiple worksheets which I need to navigate to. Again, edit in browser. All right, so what have I done to make navigation possible? Well, first of all, can you see that if I right click, there's no functionality to navigate towards a specific worksheet. All right. So on the left hand side, uh, I used um, hyperlinks to direct me towards the relevant worksheet. So let me go to the last one here, the BIM 360 worksheets. I can see that I've created some extra worksheets there in the meantime one of them is called SA families 2020 and I would have added that and there's my new sheet sheet one and I want to be able to navigate here all right so let me illustrate how I go about this I then copy this column I go back to sheet one and I reserve column a for navigation I rename the sheet so I can control copy the sheet name and then I scroll to the bottom of the list over here just click on that cell right click and say hyperlink I say that I want to place in this document I paste the sheet name I use an exclamation mark and I give a cell reference a1 and then I say for displaying the text sheet one. OK. So this is now a hyperlink that will automatically bring me back to sheet one cell A1. Again, I then copy. And then I navigate just by clicking on cover sheet to my cover sheet and I highlight this column and I right click and paste. And if I scroll down there, I can see my sheet one. I click on sheet one and automatically it brings me then back to 
sheet one. So that is a very powerful way to navigate. Now, one other thing that you should watch out for is if you do have the um, standards file on your desktop and you want a lot of information, if you want a lot of information that's going to get copied across, unfortunately, it does not allow you to do that. So let's take something that's quite big. Let's suppose the unit class um, elements or functions product. Element, yeah, products is quite a big one. Here you can see there are thousands of lines. All right. And let's just see whether I can select a lot of information. And copy that across to the cloud model. Firstly, if I right click and paste, it says to me I can't do that, but you can use shortcuts. So control V. And then you'll see it says, well, the data is too large. All right. So you might have to copy about, in this instance, about 500 lines of data across at a time and spend a while doing that. But once you've done that, you've got this file on the internet and you can edit this at any time from wherever. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this demonstration of how you can put your Excel file on the uh, BIM 360 platform and edit that through your browser. And I hope you guys have lots of success with that. My recommendation would be start off by creating the file on the browser so that you don't have any inconsistencies and have the file refused to upload onto BIM 360. Until next time, enjoy Revit and enjoy BIM 360.